Well, if Steve Davis is still in the studio with Walters, I hope he'll stick around to hear Heresy in session, plus more tunes from the new New Order LP, and records from Sore Throat, Overlord X, The Exuberance, Violent Femmes, Frankie Paul, The 45 King, Nightingales, Amy Yenge, uh, Mud Honey, The Dwarves, Live Skull, Humanoid Bob, oh, and the new Morrissey single as well. Starting, though, with something rather tranquil for a change. <laughs> Surrender, that's a single from Suicide, taken from the forthcoming LP, A Way of Life. And on the other side of it, incidentally, there's uh, Rain of Ruin, which I've played you on a couple of occasions, I think. One's calling it something quite different because I misread the uh, label. From Soundgarden, Circle of Power.
That comes from the LP Ultra Mega OK on SST Records, Soundgarden, their first LP. And that was called Circle of Power. Another first LP is from Overlord X. It's called Man... No, it's not called Mango Street at all. That's the label, I think. Uh, but this track is... What is it called? Hold on a second. Weapon is My Lyric is, is the title of the LP. Uh, and this track that I'm about to play is called Go! Exclamation mark. It's like World War III. The world has become a lifetime time bomb. How long can we survive? It's almost like World War III. And you're stealing, it's like a gambler like you are living Be on the loose, C-O-P-S, the a Sam Kill a cup dead, living it that way Fancy you pay, the court chill will you put your life away Don't like the radics, the beast, the cup, the fool If I was pushed to a level, I'd probably rule I'm in Flora, down to the marrow Family involved, the boy, I get peril Taking the shorts, holding the prisoners The ex-army, close to the pictures All the form of a World War III Who started it all, not me In the behind, one big swipe, both rock the suckers, all the clappers, the motherfuckers, they get afraid, boy, I'm getting mad, son of a no good girl, I bet you never had, sleep at night, look out for your back, the military army, you attack, a human time bomb, dressed in uniform, he has to stop the ones, can't help a born, young fresh, give it to black, arrest me sucker, but I'll be back, one's gone, another is born, never forgotten, judgment day is sworn, a young Gavrin, a young pussy, it's like a battle scene, it's like a World War free right? It's snowing, killing brothers and sisters. Which way are we going? I don't know, but I know where the door to go. We're all finished. What a way to go. Young suckers carry them blades, live by the blade, die by the blade. I say, I had a vision that war will be out of date, but we're all too late. That's Overlord X, and that's uh, from uh, the LP. <laughs> What's the title of the LP again? Curses, Weapon is My Lyric, and Go, It's Like World War Three. Another track from the LP, too, later in the programme. This is Bob. Somebody came in and brought me a cassette of their forthcoming single, which sounded dandy to me, but this is from the LP on Sombrero Records called Swag Sack Groove. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
There's an ocean of fish with only one wish That's to swim in the sea every day I've got sleepless to fix, I've got rhyming to do While they prove all their troubles away I particularly like There's an Ocean of Fish with Only One Wish on that track. From the LP Swag Sack, that's Bob and Groove. It's on Sombrero Records. And this is Humanoid. Give it, give it, give it, baby.
That's from the Acido uh, Amigo double LP on West Side Records, Humanoid, and it's called Cry Baby. And this next will amuse you because, uh, oh, whenever it was that knew, knew that uh, Rose Rose and Heresy played in London at the Sir George Roby, and I went along and I met somebody there who said to me, uh, you like Indian food, don't you? And I said, well, I do rather, actually. Yes, most of this, patting my stomach, is Indian food. And uh, she said, well, I'll tell you what, you know, uh, I, I can cook it and uh, why don't you come back to our house sometime and I'll make you an Indian meal. I said, that's very civil of you. So I took down a phone number and phoned up a week or so later and arranged to go for an Indian meal after last night's programme. I've been really looking forward to it. Hadn't eaten anything all day. I thought, I'll show them how to eat, you know. And uh, spoken to uh, her mum, I think, on the phone and so forth and got the address all written down. After the programme, rushed out and got into the car and drove off into uh, Islington, sort of, which is about a couple of miles away from Broadcasting House. But it's a very small street and... And it took me a hard, long time to find it in the map, you know, because it was written in tiny letters and I uh, could only just see it. Found the street eventually and it was in a rather dark, gloomy area. A lot of places that were kind of barriers across the road, you know, to stop traffic going through there and stuff and uh, no entries and, uh, you know, and, and a lot of tumble-down buildings and, and, and uh, sort of street vendors' carts up against walls and things. So I found the street that I was supposed to be in. It was number 11 that I was supposed to go to. So I drove down. There's number two, four, six, eight. I thought, oh, this makes sense. And then eight, I think, was something like a warehouse with a sign outside saying no parking day or night. And uh, the houses actually seemed to be kind of boarded up. I didn't see a great deal of activity in them. There were one or two rather dodgy-looking people looking into a car engine at the bottom of the street, you know. Uh, and so I thought, well, I'm not getting out to wander about here and make inquiries and things. But I thought, well, here we are. Number eight must be across the road. Across the road was a car park. <laughs> so quite clearly, uh, it was somebody's idea of a rather elaborate practical joke is my way of seeing it but anyway all is forgiven to the people who bothered to organize all of that uh my thanks anyway for an interesting evening or well, quite an interesting evening and a reasonable story as well uh, this is from heresy every day madness every day <laughs> It's not good for me to do that late at night anyway. That's heresy, the first from them. Everyday madness, every day. And somebody was on the Mayo phone about five minutes ago telling me that heresy have apparently split up. I don't know this for sure, but someone was saying that uh, they've played their last gig. If this is true, a pity. From the Paragons, only a smile. <laughs> Just because of that smile you've got But I 
after knowing you as much as I he's gonna leave you just like I did the smile you were smiling dear did excite Yet another Trojan compilation LP. This one's called Bubba Boom. Those were the Paragons and only a smile. And uh, about time I played you that new Morrissey single, or one of the three tracks that's on it. Anyway, the A-side, as you must know, is called The Last of the Famous International Playboys. That'll crop up later in the programme. What a swine I am, eh? My goodness. This is Lucky Lisp. When your gift unfurls When your talent Becomes apparent. I will roar from the stalls. I will gurgle from the circle.
note how I wait until it's all gone. That's Morrissey and Lucky Lisp. Two more tracks from him before the end of the programme, of course. And from the Dwarves, this is from uh, the mini LP, if that's what it is. Two in for a warm tea bag on Nasty Gash Records. Let's get pregnant. <laughs>
Strontium 90, that is, on G-Force Records, and it's called On The Move, and I got a long letter from them uh, in the course of the week, which I've not really read, actually. It just it fell out, and I thought, oh, I must read that now. But anyway, they're based in South Woodford, and uh, that, I take, is their first record as Strontium 90. Now, this next is from a compilation LP, another one which arrived during the week, and uh, next week's programmes, I think I mentioned last night, are going to be all record programmes, no sessions at all, just purely and simply because of the extraordinary volume of stuff that's come in that I feel I ought to play, really. So uh, this is from an LP, or a double LP, called Human Music. It's from Homestead Records and described as a collection of non-LP and previously unreleased tracks from 25 bands we like a lot. And this is the contribution from Live Skull, who I think are going to be over here shortly, and it'd be nice if we could get them in for a session. It's called Alive Again. Yeah, really. Live Skull on Homestead Records from a double LP Human Music, and that was called Alive Again. Bobby Dig- Digital and Coco T. This one after the beat of musical it out today. Ain't no matter what they do, no matter what they say. Hey, baby, long time I've been waiting. I've been sitting and watching you pass me by.
dreaming of you all night long And I'm dreaming of you, I want you near me Old style, and a bit scratched, but a fine record on jammies. That's uh, Bobby Digital and Coco T. Come Home is the title of it. What was I going to say to you? Oh, yes, later on tonight on Radio 1 at 10.30, you've got Nicky Campbell, two hours of Nicky and his unique sense of humour, plus more music in session from The Proclaimers and London Beat, and then at 12.30, Richard Skinner, with the very best music on album and compact disc, and a Wednesday night session from the Jeff Healy Band. This is from uh, Heresy. They're in session on our programme. A couple of numbers, Break the Connection and Ghettoized. and ruin my whole life. That's heresy in session, break the connection and ghettoised. And this is from Mud Honey, someone who's just speaking to me on the phone on the subject of Mud Honey, actually, and wondering what had happened of that programme uh, that I was planning to do involved, like, a lot of stuff from Seattle, Washington. And uh, that's one of the things that I shall do in next week's all-record programmes. It's nothing terribly in-depth. I mean, there aren't going to be penetrating interviews, kind of Seattle, Washington, wither, that kind of stuff. It'll just be me playing lo lots of records from Seattle, Washington, probably segueing them, and... Uh, up, leaving it up to you to make up your own mind, really. This is from Super Fuzz Big Muff on Sub Pop Records, Mud Honey and Need. <laughs>
I was looking through Maximum Rock and Roll earlier on and there's a couple of advertisements of other record labels based in Seattle, Washington, uh, with lots of new names on there, you know, bands that I've never heard of before, uh, with uh, records which look as though they'd be well worth playing if you could get your hands on them. Uh, let's see where they are. I hear Empty Records of Seattle, Washington. Some of you probably know all about Empty Records. I know nothing, I'm ashamed to say. But they have. Uh, they also have a base in uh, Nuremberg in West Germany too, and records by people like Genossen. I think they're probably actually German. Well, maybe they're not, I don't know. And then... Um, Cat Butt, who are definitely from Seattle, and uh, the Derelicts, who are also definitely from Seattle. And it was this now, isn't one? Well, anyway, it doesn't matter a great deal. But in one of pro next week's programmes, there'll be a lot of stuff from Seattle. Uh, that's from uh, Mud Honey, and it's called Need. And I better get on because I seem to be stuttering again tonight. From New Order, from the LP Technique, Dream Attack.
from the LP Technique, that's New Order, and it's called Dream Attack. During the afternoon, I got a phone call from a journalist asking me for things about factory records and uh, my views on New Order and so forth, and I came up with a lot of rather clever things, which I was rather pleased with at the time. You won't be surprised to hear that I've forgotten them all now, of course. At the time, they seemed pretty darn good, I must say. I'm a Yange, and this is the one that we all call... No! Go to Amabo. Deepak! 
That's from the forthcoming LP Zambians, Amayenge, of course, and I do hope they come back here this year or next, well, soon, anyway, at some stage. And that track's called Mao, which I've played you before because it was sent to me uh, yeah, some time ago, a couple of years ago, I suppose, when it was issued as a single in Zambia, but now it crops up on this compilation LP. Now, another song from Morrissey coming up in a few seconds. Uh, this time it's for Carla Moss in Barnsley. Michael's Bones. Lay where he fell Face down on a sports ground He was just somebody's luckless son Oh, but now look what he's done Oh, look what he's done Your unkissed lips are blue Your thin clothes are hopeless And no one was mad about you Michael's bones Were very young But they were never to know She was fun Mr. Policeman I don't know Where you get such notions from His gentle hands are frozen And his unkissed lips are blue But his eyes still And see, are we all judged the same at the end? Tell me, tell me Oh, lucky thing You are too brave And I'm ashamed of myself as you That's another song from that nice Morrissey uh, on the B side of the single, Michael's Bones, and the last of the famous international playboys still to come, of course. This is 45 King.
Repetitive, you could argue. In fact, you almost certainly will be doing, but uh, I like that, I must say. Coolin, it's called, from Tough City Records, the 45 King. And now a word from the father of us all. <laughs> Greetings, music lovers. And don't forget, we assembled at Wilson Pickett's Midnight Hour, minus the famous Mr. Pickett himself, of course, but with a few rock classics, both old and new, in the Saturday Rock Show. A couple of your open requests, they're delivered by Black Sabbath and Deep Purple, and we recreate and go back into the archives and pull out status quo in concert 1982. That's the Saturday Rock Show, 12 midnight, Sunday on Radio 1 FM. All right? That time we had a new record from Robert Lloyd. That's when he was a nightingale from the LP Pigs on Purpose from Cherry Red Records, joking apart. And back with our session guest, Terracy, the network ends. Let's 
Oh, 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 you do now how to make a man cross. That's heresy, and the uh, network ends. And the chap who was telling me that the band had broken up was also saying that they're planning to make a record, you know, as before they go, as it were, which that part of it, at least, I do hope is true. From the Wallace Brothers, I stayed away too long. <laughs> Grown up and covered the door, and a man across the street said, Who did you come to see? He said, The girl don't live here anymore. at me He didn't know whether to cry or grin He said what were you to her Were you a lover or just a friend It was six months ago With a tall handsome guy that she All I could do was stand there with tears in my eyes and I stayed away too long. I stayed away too long. Oh, there's a whole LP of things like that. Those are the Wallace Brothers. The LP's called Let's Do It Over, on uh, not on Jewel Records, in the Charlie R&B series, and that's called I Stayed Away Too Long. Originally, as I said in last night's programme, on the Jewel label, but now on Charlie. They seem to be playing my song. I hope you got fat. <laughs> I hope you got really fat. Cause if you got really, really fat You just might want to see me come back I hope you got fat Help me out Hey, I don't care I don't care How heavy or how skinny I don't care shouldn't I? I used to feel like that at times, but uh, in the end, I was the one that got fat. That's from the Violent Femmes. It comes from their new LP, which is just called Three, and fat was the title of the song. Frankie Paul. Ethiopians, here I come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, they have to 
sure what the thinking was behind that. Perhaps there wasn't any. Frankie Paul, and that's on Blue Mountain Records. The LP's called Reaching Out, and that was Ethiopia, Here I Come. You may recall that last week I mentioned a letter that I'd had from somebody asking me to get them an autographed picture of Bruno Brooks. This is I've managed to do, but don't all of you write in, because I'm not going to do any more. And that's absolutely certain. I've now had a, a letter from her sister saying that she wants a picture of me. For her mum. I think this is some kind of destabilisation thing. I suspect the CIA, frankly. I mean, who else? New Order. <laughs>
Another tune from uh, New Order and the LP Technique, and that one's called Mr Disco. And a letter from, uh, let's see, from Martin and Mick, who write to me from Her Majesty's Prison, Wormwood Scrub, says, Hello, John, we're cooped up in here on remand. We listen to every session from the Umbakanga to the Ridiculous. Notice we can even spell Umbakanga, at least we think we can. I'm sure, but you may be right, to be honest, I can't spell it myself, to be perfectly honest with you. And they go on at length and say, uh, uh, you could also say a quick hello to the outside world and to the folks in the scrubs listening in, yours claustrophobically, Martin and Mick. Well, I think this might amuse you, it's from an LP called The Mud, The Blood and The Beers, Nine Pound Hammer and Little Country Romance. <laughs> Picks up from a jean and his pickup truck. And old Billy works down in the garage and she works at Kmart just to make a buck. Tonight they're going to the drive in for an all night kung fu show. The club pack of blue ribbon and two UK happy Chandler huggers, though. Keep them cold. Billy hangs a picture of them in the garage for all the boys to see. She was voted Miss Transmission. Heck, way on back in 73. He belongs to the National Rifle Association. She listens to WBKR. Chuck Norris is her favorite movie star. They both belong to the Baptist Church and they play on the softball team. But they stay home every Sunday and they watch Hulk Hogan on the TV. 
Old Billy and Thelma used to get along just fine. But every now and then it's one so side ahead to keep old Thelma in line. He finally came with them, I heard them wedding bells. Reception with family and friends and a show with the Vandales. Executive in Sunday brunch in the brass A every night. Listen here by God, don't tell them how to live their life right. Well, if Martin and Mick didn't like that, I should be very surprised indeed. They're innocent, incidentally, they tell me. That's Nine Pound Hammer from the LP The Mud, The Blood and The Beers, the first release from Wanghead UK and Redneck Romance, the title of it. That's one that you'll hear again, actually, uh, perhaps in next Monday night's programme, when it's an all-record programme, as are all of next week's programme. This is Overlord X, Weapon Is My Lyric. No Vader in effect. This one is a no-no. That's why I use my lyric as a weapon. Yeah, back to the on Bull Black. I'm thinking, I reckon, I never be wet. Next the O, the V, the E, the R, Lord. Why is the question? Gonna make a little some high plus I got to mention. Closing the rap jam so you can put your hand at the suckers. You're pointing the wrong plan. Few minor instances them blown, not them blown. It's best to stay with a wicked bit here. We go, they don't know nothing, they just going to fight. Get the hell on my face and get back. Why? This is a hard man, sneakers on my feet, cut the head and I go and slam on your weak spot, nothing can make me drop, push the hard and fill yourself the drop, push me down, you wanna push me down, he ain't working, me and my pop see that guard the colonel, come on, weapon is my lyric, this is it, come on, weapon is my lyric, this is it, weapon is my lyric, this is it, come on, weapon is my lyric, Don't buy as soon as your life band. What you do is run a band, the man. Rappers when I clap it. We're coming for the jackers. That means your death is the house packers. This is a no no, uh oh, here they come. It's not a soul, now they're ready to diss the one. Pin to a pair of blue ink that tells the lies. Wipe the press. The death, let them die like fly. Who are your speakers? Who is the tweeters? Don't believe the junk from the media. Party with the X, the X with the P, the O, the double S, E. We know the school C, rap the rhyme all the time, put down from my mind. And the fame we will describe. Easy now. One let the word flow, it's about that time I'm not ready to go now What for this one lyric? Lyrics to weapon, no one or that's gon' tell him. Rappers are hating, but got the old to kick the butt. But I won't do that. Lyric is no weapon, weapons to lyric. Kinda hard to use it, so I do it. Women that lost always fingers are muscle. I tell them I can't. The dry cuss. Killer is the ace, ace is the murderer. You can spread it, but I'm no one to it. See you on the desk, get back. So bring me just no check. Cool. Cut like a sword, chop up the boards. Whip the rickin' for the road, come on. Pack, 
Rippin' is my lyric Never before. Just come on. Remember that good old good one? Those are the primitives and where the wind blows. And before that, it was Overlord X from the compact disc, uh, which is called, whatever I said it was called before, Weapon Is My Lyric, which was the title of the track as well, in fact. And this is from, uh, well, it's the best record in the entire world for the, well, for so far this year, I suppose, really. And it's a record which has probably been around for several years, but I only got my copy a week or so ago from Charlie Gillett. Uh, this is that version of In the Midnight Hour. <laughs>
More than one person has asked me where they can get a hold of a copy of that, and frankly, I don't know. I suppose I ought to get in touch with Charlie and ask where he got it, but that's Malico, anyway. M-A-L-O-K-O. Soul on Fire is the title of the LP. I keep meaning to play other tracks from it, but that is by so far the best. I keep coming back to it. That's in the Midnight Hour, of course, and it's on the African Music Gallery label from Washington, D.C., but you must be able to find them around somewhere. I want to find some more copies myself, actually, to give to people as gifts. That's the kind of generous chap that I am. And this is from, uh, I think, a ripple of applause, too, for Siren Benza, who plays guitar on that. This is from Heresy, the last from them tonight.
That's a little something from 1975. Actually, it's the wrong side of a little something from 1975. It doesn't really matter. Eddie Drennan and BBS Unlimited. And this is from The Exuberance, a flexi-disc available with the current issue of Daybury magazine, Brunette Revenge. I had a demo tape of theirs the other night. Very good it was, too. The Exuberance, that's on a flexi-disc with the current issue of Debris magazine. Brunette Revenge is the title of it. And this is Denny's.
That's the first release on the Metropolitan Record label, Deniz, D-E-N-I-Z, and you were the one. The serious music lover on Friday, at any rate, is going to be at the Caribbean Club in Ipswich to see uh, RDF, Prophecy of Doom, Rhetoric, uh, Carcass, Extreme Noise Terror, Bolt Thrower, and Sore Throat. Sore Throat go like this. <laughs> That's a couple of numbers from Sore Throat from the LP Unhindered by Talent, Invasion of the American Hardcore Clones, followed by Eat Organic. And that brings us to the last record in tonight's programme. Dear hero imprisoned With all the new crimes that you are That's the third time that I've heard it. It gets better every time. Morrissey, that's the new single, the last of the famous international playboys, and it's the end of tonight's programme as well, on which you heard a fine session from Heresy, and uh, in next week's programmes, all of them, uh, all record programmes throughout the week from me. Coming up next is Nicky Campbell after the news. Uh, thanks very much for listening. Well, good night.